Alright, alright. Que pasa to the pack? It's pack here. Tallest NBA players of all time. Can they hit some threes? What I'm doing in NBA 2K22 is I'm getting the top 10 tallest players ever, shooting a three, and seeing if I can make it with every single tall NBA player. Before the video starts, be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe. That helps the channel out a lot. And this isn't current NBA players, this is all time NBA players. And obviously, there's some players that aren't in 2K, like George Mercer, for example. He's not on any of the all time teams or anything, so I can't use him. But with everybody that is available, I did it. Let's see how it went. I had to start off at number 10 with somebody called Chris Has Porzingis. Seven foot three. This one was obviously super, super, super easy, bro. Porzingis literally just like, he's built for this already. I didn't, do, I didn't have to do anything, right? Just one little step. Like, look, I got stopped by Carl Malone. I was like, give me the ball back. What is he going to do? One step back. He ain't never seen a white boy do this. Boom. Easy three for Porzingis. It was no difficulty on Carl Malone. He could not keep up with the boy. Wide open three. This is stuff that Porzingis is doing every single day too. So it's not like this is unrealistic or anything. He is easy for him. I didn't even have to green it. Easy shot for Porzingis. That's why he's called the unicorn because he's tall, he's lanky, and he can do stuff like that. It's not even fair, bro. At number nine, we have Ilgauskas, who's also seven foot three. And even though Ilgauskas cannot move like Cam, still has it like that. LeBron James driving it up and does a little hee hee pass to Ilgauskas, wide open for three. And Ogaskis would hit him sometimes. I wouldn't say he was like a prolific three-point shooter, but this man could shoot threes, right? Wide open, no difficulty. Ogaskis had it like that, bro. And it was kind of deep too. The form's clean. This is a shot that he can make. It was a pretty decent one. I gotta be real with you. At number eight on the list, we have Daddy Sabonis, not Demontis, right? This is the father of Demontis. He's also known for being able to shoot wide open threes. When he was in Europe, when he was younger, this dude was deadly. Here he is trying to size up for a little bit. He was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't make it too complicated. He shoots a three over two Pistons defenders. To be fair, the Pistons defenders aren't really that good, so it doesn't really matter. But still, wide open. He's so tall and lanky that like, even if you close out, it kind of doesn't matter because he can just shoot it over you. This was another NBA player that can kind of low-key shoot. So listen. So Bonus was nasty back in Europe when he was younger. In his prime, he didn't even play in the NBA. He was like dominating EuroLeague when he was younger. When he moved to the NBA, he was still decent, but like he put on some weight, he played a little differently. But this dude as a center could really play like a guard. He was like the first version of Porzingis ever. It was crazy. The next player at number seven, you know him already, Boban Marjanovic. So Boban's actually hit a three before. It's not like this is a super uncommon. Like he can do it. It's just he never does it, right? Porzingis is dribbling up the court and gives it to the other giant monster on his team. Passes it to a wide open Boban. You know, that form is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. There's a reason this man doesn't shoot threes. But like to him, he's so tall and so good at like he has such a nice touch that like he just goes under the basket and throws little like hook shots. But let's be real. He's got a nice touch. That means he should be able to hit some threes here and there. And in this game, I was able to do it, right? Obviously, again, his rating isn't super high or anything. But like, and, and let me tell you, that jump shot was really slow. I could not green it. But hey, wide open in the corner? I'm sure a guy like Boban could hit him. Any NBA player wide open in the corner, I guarantee you can hit it. Now, at number six, we have Rick Smith's seven foot four. Now, here's an NBA player I guarantee you does not shoot threes. This dude was so slow. To be fair, if you're seven foot four and big, you're probably gonna be really, really slow. But damn, this guy was like moving in molasses. This dude had to have had like a 25 speed. Rick Smith's kind of looked like Larry Bird here. Dribbles super slowly to the three point line and was still able to get the three off Taco Falls face. And Taco Falls is taller than him, right? So that's pretty impressive. But let me tell you, it was pretty hard to get Rick Smith to get an open three off. So slow, so ridiculously slow. First time he's ever hit a three in his life, I guarantee you. But you know what? At the end of the day, it kind of felt good to get that one off. It was, it was pretty cool. And number five, we have legend, jazz legend, Mark Eaton, who was seven foot four as well. Mark Eaton was definitely not known for shooting threes at all. He was a rebounding defensive and got a lot of blocks kind of player. That was one of the few guys that knew he was seven foot four. Like, I think everybody else, they were tall, but like, they were Charmin tall. Like, you know what I mean? They're, they're kind of soft, right? Like, they, they don't realize how tall and big they are, so they don't use it to their advantage. Mark Eaton definitely wasn't that guy. This dude was tall, it was big, and he knew that nobody could deal with him because he was so ridiculously big. But here he is in NBA 2K22, wide open for the three, and I hit it. Let me tell you, it was not easy to hit a shot with this guy either. 
But the thing with him is, like, I didn't know what to do, so I just, like, let me just run to the three-point line and create even a little bit of space. Because when you're that tall, you just need, like, a second of space. And then I shot it, and I got the three off. I was pretty happy with that one. Now, at number four, we have Ralph Sampson. Seven-foot-four player that could low-key shoot threes here and there. Listen, like, back in, like, the 80s, name me another player that was that tall shooting threes. Yeah, Ralph Sampson kind of knew that he could do more than just post up, and he kind of had a good job here. He gives James Harden a pick and roll, which, by the way, just sounds disgusting in the first place, like the fact that that would ever happen, right? Gives him the pick and roll, James Harden hits him, and even though it wasn't like a wide open shot because he's so tall and Luka's not, is clearly not as big as him, it was wide open according to 2K because Ralph Sampson is that tall. You got to know you're broken when a tall NBA player like Luka Doncic, who's 6'9 and big, looks tiny compared to you. That's crazy, bro. But yeah, Luka Doncic could not do anything to the man with the last name of Sampson, okay? Just to clarify. Yeah, he hit the wide open three and you know what? He could do that. Now, this next player, number three, is NBA favorite Taco Fall. And it kind of sucks because Taco Fall, who's seven foot five, right, isn't even on an NBA team anymore. He was cut by the Cavs and the Celtics. So, like, it kind of sucks. But here we go with Taco Fall, right? I, I put him on the Cavs just because, like, that was the team he was on in the first place. So, I guess, why not, right? You know what, though? Taco Fall's form is clean. And now, he's never shot a three in his life. But, like, low key. That form is nasty. Like, maybe he kind of has it in him. He just needs to start shooting him more. And he was kind of... That step back, too. Like, overall, Taco Fall maybe got a little game in him if he just tried to expand his game besides just trying to post up and be big. Like, he could do more. And today's, especially in today's NBA, if, like, you're that tall, who's going to stop you from shooting a three-pointer? Like, no one can stop KD shooting a three-pointer. Imagine Taco Fall shooting one is, is literally a video game at that point. It's crazy. Now, at number two on this list... We have Sean Bradley, seven foot six, the tallest player in NBA 2K22, tied with another player, right? But Sean Bradley was never really that great. Yes, he's on the all-time Mavericks team, but like he was never really that good. Never shot threes either. Wasn't really about that. But look how ridiculously tall this dude is. Like, I wasn't sure how to get open, and then I was like, wait, John Stockton's on me. What is he going to do when Sean Bradley wants to shoot a three? Even if he jumped, he wouldn't be able to block him. So I shot the three, and it was ridiculous. Hit the shot. It's like, and I greened it too, by the way. A little bit a little bit of vanity there, you know? I still got it in me. I can't believe he hit it. I, I can't believe that someone was in his face, and it was wide open because he's so short. I mean, that's just crazy. If there's ever an NBA player that's seven foot six and, and could shoot, the league would be screwed because no one would ever be able to stop that player. And finally, at number one, the most famous tall player ever, Yao Ming, seven foot six, the greatest Chinese player of all time. Gives a screen to James Harden and pops, which just sounds deadly in the first place, right? Is wide open for the three-pointer. And what is anybody ever going to do to this? Like, like Yao Ming is too talented for that. Luka Doncic had no chance of ever trying to stop that. Hits it easily. There's, it's just disgusting, right? Like, I'll never, ever imagine a world where someone as talented as Yao Ming, right, could start shooting threes and, like, consistently... It's terrifying. I don't even think we're ever going to have an NBA player at seven foot six or seven ever in the NBA again. It's going to be as skilled as Yao Ming was because like that person's going to have to be that tall and fast in today's NBA. It's never going to happen. So this might be the end of a player that's that kind of tall and can do crazy things in the NBA, right? Now, that's everyone on this list. Obviously, there's other tall NBA players that didn't make it, but because they're not in the game, I couldn't use them, right? But is there another challenge that you want me to do? Because it's pretty fun. Leave it in the comments below. If you like the channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.